Hello and welcome back to Crypto Schnack. For all those who are new, welcome and for those who are not, welcome back to my channel. And nice to have you all here. I made a break of two days and a lot of things happened and let's go and dive into this right now. And so we are back at 10k. We briefly um, went um, almost under, like not almost, but we went a few points under 10k, but went right above right away above that again but i will go into that in detail in a few minutes um, when i will talk about the chart and then i will also talk about my offers that i offer to my patrons and um, yes so well let's dive in so we are at 350 dollars for the um, ethereum ch um, price which is like almost a hundred dollars less since my last video so what happened is um, we have a lot going on in the um, general stock market, which I believe um, is influencing as well the um, uh, cryptocurrency market. So we are still in, yeah, in a in a not so good shape right now because we have a lot of losses going on here. Um, Polkadot uh, new in here, um, Litecoin, Crypto.com, and um, yeah, so you see everything is going down as well. Um, DeFi projects are going down. Ethereum, OM, OM, OMG network, one of the uh, few that is uh, gaining right now. And uh, yes, so you see a lot of red double digit um, um, losses. Um, but nevertheless, we had a lot of gains in the past month. So um, if, you, if you were investing um, for the long term, um, these few days where you have losses like this um, won't influence you too much. So the winner today, if we look at the top 100, is BitShares with 24% up, CyberVein 12%, OMG Network 6% as we talked about. Kucon Shares, I must honestly say, this was a project and this is an exchange that has been so successful before in the past, but um, based on the performance of the coin, I mean, honestly, it is just going less and less and less. Um, it has been um, it has been worth like 1.6 billion and now it's just like 90 million. So this is pretty sad to see. Oh, now my there you go. We are back. And uh, so you see, we have a lot of losses currently, but um, there's always a moment when the market turns and um, comes uh, back up. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, guys, please subscribe um, to stay updated. I do a lot of videos. I talk about um, yeah, decisions, how to invest and um, how Bitcoin is performing and crypto news. And today we're gonna concentrate on the charts because that's what everyone has to be interested in and is uh, the most interesting part today and um, yeah so let's dive in so we have here the um, daily chart actually i'm going into the four hour chart so what we saw uh, what we saw was we had the sideways trends with um, higher highs and all that so we were all good then when I did my last video, we had come down here and we were actually moving up here. And when I said this, I said, well, there's going to be a chance that we can retest this um, resistance here. And if we are good, we're going to go above the 12K. This is what it all looked like at that moment. But what happened at, at this point, which is September 1st at 2 p.m., it was just crashing. So September, second sept, September, um, we look at the second sept, September, and we are up here. And actually, what what is interesting to see is that on the second September at uh, two p.m., the stock market was still gaining. The stock market had still some momentum going on, and um, this happened when Bitcoin was crashing. So. If we compare that to the S&P 500, the S&P 500 was crashing on the September at 6 a.m. in the morning. It was just dumping down 100 points, more than 100 points. So if we look at the S&P 500, we have seen the same movement here. Like we were going from 300 to 228 to 12, 
uh, 29, uh, 29, 40, around that. But since then, we have seen major gains. So what happened with Bitcoin is, if we dive out, we have seen moves like this. I mean, from 10, 1 to 8,000. This is like 2,000 points. And we have since then never, we never went back. So here, the key is right now, are we seeing like a low right now? Is that really the low or is it going to go further down? Because we have we have been further crashing. We have been even crashing if I take the line since the Corona crash. If I take the line from here, um, we have even cr we have even crashed through this um, uptrend. So what we have seen um, while well, we dive into the 30 minutes chart, we have seen that um, we once went to 9,990 and we went even to 9,900. And now, just a few minutes ago, actually, we moved back um, down to 10,100. So if we check this, um, we have the question asked ask right now, is the 10,100, is this I mean, this level here, is this the resistance we are like, I'm not resistance, sorry about that. Um, is it the support we are looking for? Because currently, I must honestly say, we have, we have found some support. One time, two times, three times, we went right, up, right back up and we found it right now again. So if we look at this, we have, we had a, way back up to almost 10,500, went back down, then we went back up to almost 10,600, and now we are back down here. So this is like the key questions. Are we gonna go fall down? Um, the chances are there, it can happen. Or have we found some ground and we are finally gonna dive slowly back up here, which I was actually expecting happening Right away, right away after the crash, because Bitcoin normally um, works like that. Um, it's crashing, and right away after, people people buy in, and the price increases again. But this is like a really risky stuff here. I mean, I don't see any uptrend yet. If we go into the one-hour chart, um, you see that we have um, just red candles. I mean, honestly, just <laughs> just red candles. So you see, we are. We are t trying to go um, on that again, but to be honest with you, it's not clear if we um, if we found support here. So if we do and we test it right now again and again over the day and we stay up here, then I would say yes, we did. Um, and we go back to the um, daily chart and you see we have a candle that went down here. Then we had the green candle here. And now we are at this point where you see we just lost another $25 points. And yeah, this is going to be interesting to see. Um, a lot of people said, and this is actually right, we have seen these kind of moves many times before. If we dive to the, um, to the time before we went parabolic, we have seen here, big green um, daily, uh, big uh, red daily candles. We have seen a lot of red candles over here since we moved back up. I mean, we even have seen here like a crazy red candle on back down. I mean, this is, um, we have seen it down here, like from um, 2,700 down to 1,500. I mean, this is like almost a 40% um, downwards trend. And we've seen this several times. So this, what we see right now, is nothing, um, is nothing new. We have seen it over here. We have seen it over here. And um, so the question right now for traders, or if you are a trader or an investor, is when to invest. And to be honest, right now, we have to check if the 10K, the, if we hold the 10K. If we hold the 10K, there's a good chance that um, we're going to go slowly back up and we um, going to see some new all-time highs, highs after that. And for the last, we're going to check out the weekly chart. So if we check out the weekly chart, we have a big red candle. I mean a massive red candle. But nevertheless, 
we have seen red candles before and um, we have seen red candles over here we have seen them over here um, I mean even in the uh, bull market that we had we had red candles of course the price hasn't been that high yet so they are not that big and um, yeah so we we did see them before and we still afterwards we were going crazy above new highs so um, there is no proof that um, this is the end or this is um, this is gonna uh, crash till down to 6000 um, but I believe I believe that we uh, for sure gonna have this red candle this week and even though if you go into the um, weekly chart if we keep staying here above 10k and we build green candles uh, blue candles uh, after that um, we are still building a higher high in the weekly chart and this is really important it is a higher high if we stay up here and we don't go back down here and we build on that and we go further up um, so this could be a way to go um, above the 12k finally in a few weeks and it might take a bit longer as we expected that we grow. So guys, I hope you liked my video and don't forget to check out my Patreon page. I do have a lot of things that I offer and you can easily become a patron on my account. And if you didn't subscribe yet, do so and stay tuned for more videos. Take care guys, I wish you a nice weekend.